in this problem what internal pressure when there is no external pressure can be sustained by a glass tube and by a glass spherical flask if in both the cases the wall thickness is equal to delta r and radius of the tube and the flask equals r we are given the tensile strength of glass as sigma m it is equal to 5 into 10 to the power 7 newton per meter square so let us do the part number a It is a glass tube that means it is a centrical tube and if you draw the cross section so cross section will be like this so this is the cross section of this uh, glass tube and because of the internal pressure force is exerted at each point like this perpendicular to the surface and due to this internal pressure it is expanding and due to expansion and due to this internal pressure there is tension inside this material due to this extension and if this tension exceeds the tensile strength then it will burst or it will break so we have to calculate what is that internal pressure which is required to break this glass tube now i am just uh, taking a very small element of this glass tube and that a small element can be drawn like this it is that element In backwards it will be like this it is something like this we have I am taking a very small element on this element the force due to internal pressure is this and due to this the tension is developed and tension is like this suppose this arc like element is making angle d theta at its center so this is the force due to internal pressure this internal pressure I am assuming as P Suppose P is the internal pressure inside this. Tension is developed and tension is acting like this. By symmetry, this angle is uh, d theta by 2. Component of tensions in these directions are cancelling out, and component of these tensions are balancing the force due to internal pressure on this element. These components are T sine d theta by 2, and it is also T sine d theta by 2 these two will add up and balance this force due to internal pressure this internal pressure force will be p multiplied by this length is equal to suppose this length is equal to this is theta and radius is r so this length will be r d theta so this length will be r d theta <coughs> and suppose this length is equal to l so it is p r d theta and i am assuming that this length is equal to l so it is p r d theta multiplied by l this two force should balance it is 2 t sine d theta by 2 this is equal to p r d theta multiplied by this l since uh, i am taking a very small angle sine theta will be equal to theta it is 2 t d theta by 2 internal pressure r d theta multiplied by l this 2 is cancelled this d theta is cancelled and this force of tension at this cross section will be given by p r into l now as pressure will be increased this tension is increased and this tension can go up to a certain maximum limit and this that maximum limit is decided by the value of this sigma m so this value of maximum maximum tension will correspond to maximum internal pressure and t maximum can be written as this value sigma m the tensile strength and this sigma m multiplied by area this is stress multiplied by area and this area will be so this area is 
in this direction this dimension is given as delta r so this dimension is delta r and delta r multiplied by this so this will be the delta r multiplied by l so this is that area and this would be equal to p max this this is the maximum internal pressure which can be put this can be maximum internal pressure which can be sustained without breaking this l is get cancelled and this p maximum which can be sustained is equal to sigma m delta r by r so this is the final answer to this problem now coming to the part uh, b of the problem in part b we have to make the same calculation for a spherical flask so this is a spherical flask and on this spherical plus force is applied in all these directions in the outward direction due to this internal pressure i am cutting this uh, spherical flask like this or maybe like this so i am cutting this uh, spherical glass like this and making its uh, free body diagram showing all the forces so cut this and so all the forces so it is cut like this and suppose this was the inner inner sphere it has some thickness thickness is delta r so this thickness from here to here will be this delta r <coughs> internally we have some pressure and due to this pressure force will be exerted like this like this like this so this is the radial forces outward we know that if pressure is uniformly distributed at this surface then all this kind of forces all this kind of forces will have resultant in this direction and this resultant is internal pressure p multiplied by this projected area and this projected area is radius we have to take for inner and outer almost it is a small r so this projected area is almost pi r square <coughs> so this is the force due to internal pressure and due to this internal pressure this two part its a second part will be like this i have made a cut from here and second part is like this this two part will try to separate and if this two part will try to separate then there will be some tension and due to this tension force will be like this along this periphery force is something like this and same forces are also here along this periphery on this periphery this forces will try to balance this force due to internal pressure and this forces we can write it as if tension is uh, sorry if uh, tensile strength is sigma m i am writing for the critical situation at the time of breaking this stress will be equal to sigma m and this sigma m multiplied by this area this area we can calculate as this total length will be 2 pi r and this width is equal to delta r so this is this force this total force and this total force should be equal to this force then it will be balanced so p pi r square is equal to sigma m 2 pi r delta r and it is the maximum pressure that can be sustained if i am using the value of sigma m here one pi is cancelled and one r is cancelled this p max will come out as cancel one pi and cancel one r it is twice sigma m delta r by r so this is the final answer to this problem